Hi, welcome back. When you left me, I'd just shown you a couple of the blending techniques using these Edding acrylic paint pens. And you can either blend with a paintbrush or with the pen itself. So I've turned this into this. So I've completed the whole sky and the moon and I've got my grassy meadows. What I'm gonna do to soften the landscape up a bit is just add some grasses with simple strokes of the pen. And again, what you can do is just add a bit of texture to your hills with dots of colour. And I'm blending these in on each other while the paint is still wet. So they're not such obvious dots. Because the great thing about acrylic paint is you can overpaint it. You know, once it's dry, as you can see from the way that the grasses go up, the green grass sits on the dark blue background is it's not going to smudge the paint that you've got in the layer underneath. That's my dark green. There's not such tall grasses in the foreground here, so I'm just going to do this with a series of dots. Just really so that you haven't got those hard lines. And I'm working quickly here, not really because I'm worried about the paint drying, because although it is drying a little bit quicker under these lights, you've still got a good minute or so's working time. But I'm working quickly here because I've got a lot to fit into one video and I don't want you to get bored and stop watching halfway through it. And what I might do in a minute is just add a few more of the dark blue blades of grass over the top of my hair. once I've actually painted the hair. And the good thing about creating a piece of art like this is you don't actually have to stick to the colours of nature, which is why I'm going to do a hair in a crimson, or is it crimson? Telly magenta and sunny yellow. And I'm just going to start with, I'm going to try and avoid rubbing my hand against the paint that I've just put in there. I'm just going to run a line of Tele Magenta here on the ear. So I've definitely got a line where I stop and start on my hair from one down the back of his neck, uh, back of his neck, down his back. And also, we'll put one down the back back of his front arm here. Ooh, I'm just going to put that over there because I don't want to smudge the work. Just all those lines that are on one side of the body that will be darker. And then we can start the blending. Now this ear here is the one where you'd see the inside of the ear. This is the one where you see the outside of the ear. And the outside of the ear will be darker 
So I'm just going to put a bit of fresh magenta paint on there. Quite a wide band. And then I'm going to get this sunny yellow and put some paint up the middle of the ear. Quite a lot of dots of paint. And then I'm just going to take my brush and again just blend the two of them together. To make an orange. And then add more of the yellow. And you do the same on the inside of the ear, but you don't want it to be quite as dark. So we won't have quite as much magenta. A fairly thick band of the yellow that I can blend with my disappearing paintbrush. And then before we blend any more, I'm going to take my white and I'm going to fill in the whole of this inside bit with the white that I can then blend these colours into. And as, as I've said on the other video, I mean, you can blend these colours together with the pen nibs themselves. But what I have found, especially with the white, is it will pick up every other colour that you blend into it. And it does take a little bit of time to get that pure white again. So that's how you'd blend it. Just put it back on there. So eventually you're going to end up with a blending like so. so. Just pop him over there. And then what you want to do is just add in the final details. Now I'm gonna use a brown on here for the eye because there are certain colors that you need to stick to nature. And I need to put a very soft eyelid there. Add a black centre to that eye. Would have been better if I'd waited for the brown. Actually, I will wait for the brown to dry because that's just spreading at the minute. Um, just checking that there's no other bare areas that I haven't put my blending on. And while I'm waiting for that eye to dry, I'm just going to take my gold pen and very lightly put some highlights around parts of my hair. Just so it looks like the moon is reflecting off him. And then also I'm just going to add a couple of little glints of gold.
but this is personal taste. I mean, I've seen some beautiful paintings where there are swirly designs drawn on the hairs. You know, you can incorporate Celtic knots and things like this. But if you're just starting out and you, you're not confident of your painting skills, adding tiny little elements like that just does, it brings it together a little bit more. It makes it look more of a, a purposeful design. And then I'm just going to clean up that eye. And now that paint has dried, I'm going to put a definite pupil in the centre of it. Oh, and I think I've missed his nose off. And I've also, oh, there it is. So there you go. I'm not going to work any more on that. But you obviously can do your designs however you wish. As I say, if you have a look in the description below, there will be templates of both of these hairs that you can trace onto a thin card, cut out and draw around so that you've got a guideline to work on. Um, and then, as I say, treat yourself to a set of acrylic colours. You can do quite a decent painting with at least, well, probably just about half a dozen colours because you can blend the two of them together to make other colours. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that's given you a bit of inspiration. Please check what other videos we've got coming up. If you put your notifications on, you'll be told when we've got a new video coming. Uh, and if you subscribe, that would be brilliant because you get to see more of me. Till then, enjoy yourself, enjoy your painting, and we'll see you again very soon. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.